Hello guys and welcome back! We're last left off! We lost our first card to the Shadow Realm to the Anti-Challenge to whatever, thanks to... You, I think. I think it was you. It could have been someone else. Actually, no. I think it was you! I've already... <laughs> I've lost to you as well, and still not claimed victory. I'll have to do that at some point. Anyway, get out of my way. Let me leave. Let me leave! Uh, you already beat me! You already took my card! What more do you want? Anyway, to the store, let's see what the Academy's selling today. So buy a sandwich, fine, I'll buy you a goddamn sandwich if you'll just shut up. Yes, Dorothy, sandwich me. Golden egg, golden egg, goddamn no golden egg. Uh, what would Jane like? We could get a playing card one. Yes! <laughs> I'm so good at these! Why? It's a useless skill. Did I get a decent card at least? No, no I didn't. What a waste of money. Oh, call the haunted? Why'd I get free cards? <laughs> yes, I will give- fine. Yes. I got free- I got called the haunted! Hey, I'm already on the second heart! Call of the goddamn- do I already have that? I might already have that. I'd be flipping out for nothing, but I don't think I do. No. That... That was a great find. <laughs> Let me pick it up. Oh, wait, what is this? Book of Moon. Flip one face-up monster on the fields into face-down defense position. I can see why that would be good for certain decks. Did I just get a bunch of rares? I well, I'm putting this in. Decent way to revive your monsters. And... Uh, I know I really shouldn't, but there is a card that I feel like I should add. The anti-card. Each player selects one card from his or her hand. Looks at the level of each of the selected cards. A card with more levels returns to the hand and the player who of the player selected. The player who selected the card uh, with fewer levels takes 1,000 points of damage and sends the card to the graveyard. If a non-monster card is selected, treat it as a level zero, if they are the same level. Uh, each player returns his or her card. I'm putting that in my hand, and just for the sake of the challenge. It makes sense, right? Otherwise, I think I'm good. Do I need to get rid of anything? I'm quite happy with the way my deck's structured at the moment. I'll leave it like this for now. I have far too many cards inside my deck, but I refuse to get rid of any. Uh, so for now, I'm kind of stuck. Let's see what I can buy at the store. What is this? Ah, light monsters! Let's just buy a whole bunch of these. Like a whole bunch, I'm, I'm buying up the entire thing. There we go. Maybe I got a blue eyes. And if it rocket work, oh my god, reflex bounder! I think that's a good card. And Saga of the Thunder. Thunder Dragon. Twin, twin headed Thunder Dragon. I can have a fusion, if I get another one. Kaiser Seahorse, I think that's also a decent card. Copycat! I'm taking that! I'm getting some decent cards! Hey, bat battery A, man, A, A! Whatever it is. Oh, Silent Swordsman level 7. I could get, are they in here? Can I get, like, all the levels? I got level 3. This is level 5, I think. Nope, got another level 7, though. Maybe I buy a bunch more of these cards. Level 
We seem to be getting the same cards now. No, well, I can make that 200 Thunder Dragon Fusion, Finn. Okay, Reflect Bounder. When this face-up attack position card is attacked by a monster, before damage calculation, this card inflicts the same amount of damage. I, yeah, I think it's just really good. I might put it in my deck. Copcat is good. It just... You copy the attack and defense points of the monster on the field. It's great. Kaiser Seahorse. This card is tributed as two... Uh... This card can be treated as two tributes for a tribute summon of a light monster. So you can summon a blue eyes with it. Anything else that's really good? I never got the level 5. It's really annoying me that I didn't get a level 5. So I might spend a little bit more money on this. Also, I'm only 73% I'm only of the way in. So I'll buy another ton. And then I'll also buy a few of these. Still need to get Sangan. And I'll buy a bunch of these as well. Because I would really like a heavy storm. I don't have any real, like, deck destruction cards. And I'll spend the rest of the money on whatever comes up. Sangan! Finally! Toon Dark Magician Girl. Toon World. I could have a Toon Deck. Fairly sure I got tons of those. You see, I, I've already bought far too many because all the one was Sangan. The rest of the cards I don't care about. Unless something really rare comes up. Right, can I get Heavy Storm? No, I got another one of those, though. Come on, Heavy Storm. Nightmare Steel Cage, not what I'm interested in. Damn it! Outstanding. What? What was that? I have a reflex founder. Thunder dragon. Thunder dragon. <laughs> Got a few of those now. Anything interesting gonna come up? Another Thunder Dragon! Another Kaiser Seahorse. Uh, well, let's see then. So I got my Sangan, I'm very happy about that. It's already a success. Also, this is due, apparently. Select one card. Select and see one of card in your opponent's hand. Not too effective. Unless I have a deck that revolves around knowing what your opponent has in his hand. Tribute Doll? Tribute one monster on your side of the field to activate this card. Special summon one level 7 monster. That can be normal summoned from your hand. Uh, that monster cannot attack this turn. Right, so I don't have to sacrifice two if I have that. But that um, my deck's not really built around that sort of thing. This card destroys your opponent's monster. As a result of the battle, draw one card and select one card to return. Okay. What is this one? Uh, when this card is sent to, the, sent to your graveyard, add it to your deck and shuffle. So it's a card that doesn't die. Not bad. Overall, though, I think I'm. Uh, I'm done here. I'll buy- wait, no, I'll buy one more. Two more. And I will go for gear up. And one trap- beginner's trap for luck. Oh! Did I just get a really good card? 
For luck. Right, what was this? Malevolent cask catastrophe. Activate only when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Destroy all. I need that. <laughs> I definitely need that. Thank you for these cards. I need to edit my deck. Right, so I'm just gonna go down and look for the new cards. I've got all the battery men. I actually didn't get battery man B. There's a B. No, what is Bright Castle? We saw light monsters by 700 points. Oh, wait, Copcat! Yes, need Copcat. You get to see how many cards I have. I don't know where I'm carrying these. It's like Pokemon. You just sort of have them. Don't do anything with them, just sit in your PC. I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. I know I want Sangin. I know I want that malevolent cascade or catastrophe. And also reflect bounder. That'll put me at like 60, 61. So I'm definitely gonna have to look at my card and take some out. Kaiser Seahorse? It's not that bad. I might just have it. What is this? If this card battles with a dark monster, it increases its attack by 500 points. I could really forge like a light deck with what I got here. Oh, there it is. Need that. This is the mecha version, but this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard inflict a thousand points of damage to both players when this card is destroyed since it's... Oh wait, when this card... When this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard except by battle, inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent. Right, I'm not gonna do that, because that's... it's far too situational. What is Mind Crush? Oh, declare the number. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Do I want this card? I already have the Tree Frog, and I think I'm happy with the Tree Frog. I don't need another one. Uh, there's Reflect Bounder. And Rocket Warrior. It is good. The effects of this card can only be applied during the battle phase. Of your own turn. Any damage this monster takes is reduced to zero. Any monster attacked by this card is has its attack decreased by 500 points. It's a decent card. I think I want one. And there is Sangan. I don't know if I want anything else. Now I gotta make a decision because now I got way too many cards. So, what's staying, what's going? Clonin's good, that's good, I definitely need that. I might take out the Black Pendant. Dark Core. A, a card that removes a card from play is pretty good. Uh, but I'll take it out. Need that. Dream Clown is very good if I can stop it from attacking and it's too powerful I can just do the switch from attack to defense. Also need I do need some weaker cards. I'm gonna keep that because that's always nice. Giant rat. I might get rid of the giant rat. Keep giant soldier stone. Keep all this. It has proved useful in the past if this card's on the field so I'm gonna keep it. Always nice to have something to return to your hand. Attack directly. Season defense and attack. Jinzo is Jinzo. Karibo. 
I just like it, and it makes it easier to get through the days. Also, it just stops attacks from hurting you, so I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep my little nuzzler. Mask of Darkness, Mist Body is a must. Might get rid of this. Although, on turn one, if you have it, it's quite good. That's quite good as well. That's also pretty good. I get rid of my Rampage and Rhinoceros. Get rid of my Shield Crush as well. Stray Lambs need that. Shallow Grave, I did get called the Haunted, so I might get rid of that, because that my call the Haunted doesn't allow the opponent to bring something back. Also, I gotta decide, what is my epic card? Is it this card, or is it this card? I like both. Both are quite situational. This is always a hundred points stronger than the monster and it stops the activation of traps and spells. But this is 44,000. So it's just better than all monsters. I'll keep them both. I'll have two epics. Wall of Illusion is just... I love it. Uh, Wall of Illusion Light can't do anything about that. I'm back to my original... Uh, yeah, I'm actually back to the original the amount that I had. So I think I'm good with where I am. Okay, well, that is the end of this part, folks. I know I didn't do anything besides just... Just look at my deck. Uh, I might duel someone next time, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Later.